как вы на себя смотрите в качестве режиссера? Вот такой же, чего вы преследуете своим искусством? Complicated question. I just want to tell stories from different sides of the life. No, I don't know, but it's, it's very complicated question because for the last 25 years it was so many changes in Russia. <laughs> That's from beginning from the Soviet period and after Soviet period and Yeltsin period and Putin period. So uh, everything changed all the time. But for my opinion now it's an unstable situation. I can say that uh, I can say that now film making the, more important TV making now. It's film industry it's much weaker in Russia uh, in contemporary Russia than in Soviet Union. And uh, now the, the main product of Russian film industry is TV production. It's to pity because I. I'm a filmmaker first of all, but surely like uh, the chief of uh, the, the biggest Russian film studio, I work with TV companies all the time. Uh, I made once, a fi I shoot here a film, American Daughter, it was in 1994, I shoot it in San Francisco, and it was uh, the story of uh, Russian-American story of American actors and uh, of American group. It was an interesting experience. Ah, uh, yes, I knew, knew a lot. No, no, some. But, uh, I made film you know, with a British star who lives in the States for many years, Mark McDowell, and uh, I make one film of him in the main part. I was a uh, free time representing Three more films represent the Soviet Union and then Russian Federation for Oscar. Uh, well, I, I came because I was invited by the American Russian Cultural Cooperation Foundation. Yes, I'm showing one of my films here. in Russia from 2008 to 2012, uh, but I spent many years there uh, before that as a diplomat and as a student starting in 1976. Yeah, the first time I went I was a student living in a dormitory with Russian roommates in 1976. Uh, I was uh, 22 years old uh, and the experiences I had there maybe didn't differ too much from the experiences of uh, college kids at 22 living in dormitories around the world. Uh, certainly the country that I lived in at that time, the Soviet Union, was very, very different from the Russia that exists today. Uh, but when you start talking about people and the Russian people and what makes them special and unique, I'd say probably less has changed uh, over the last 30 or 40 years uh, than has changed on the political side. Thank you.